Hi, I'm Jocelyn, your host to Melbourne Vibe. Are you looking to move to Melbourne yet you have no idea how much things cost here? Well, here are our top three things that will determine your cost of living in Melbourne. Number one, accommodation. Now your rental price depends on how close you are to the city. So the closer you are, the more expensive it's gonna be. In the city, you can find a room by yourself for around $400 per week, or if you don't mind sharing, you can cut that down to around $200 per week. You can save even more money by moving into the outer suburbs of Melbourne, where you could find your own room for $200 a week, or if you don't mind sharing, you can bring that down to $100 to $150 per week. However, keep in mind, the further you are away from the city, the more you're probably going to need to pay on public transport. Number two, food. Now, Melbourne can be expensive. You're looking at spending at least $20 on breakfast at just an average cafe. So if you're eating out for three meals a day, that could add up to $50 to $100 in just one day. However, in saying that, you can go to a lot of Asian and Indian restaurants that usually have meal deals around lunchtime for about $10 a meal. If you must eat out, this is gonna be the most cost-effective option. However, grocery stores are gonna be your cheapest option, and the best options we have in Australia are Coles, Woolworths, and Aldi. And there are a lot of Indian and Asian grocery stores all over Melbourne. Now, if you're buying your groceries and cooking at home for most of your meals, you're gonna be spending around $100 to $200 per month. If you want a cheaper option, go to your local fresh food market on a Sunday afternoon where a lot of vendors are trying to sell their perishable items at a discounted price because it's usually the last day of their trading week. Now you can pick up a box of mixed vegetables for around $30. Number three, transport. Melbourne has an amazing public transport system, connecting you to trains, trams, and buses all over the city. All you need to travel on public transport is a Mikey card. That costs $6. There are two top-up options for a Mikey card, one being for the not-so-frequent traveler with a daily cap of $8.20, or the other option is a Mikey Pass. Now, if you're traveling five to seven days per week, you can pay $145 for 28 days, and that averages to about $5.20 per day. So it's gonna save you some money. Melbourne also have a free tram zone in the CBD, where you don't have to touch on your Mikey at all. You can jump on and off all day, every day, and not pay a cent. Melbourne also have a V-Line service, which will take you out of the city. That will take you all the way up to Traralgon and down to Geelong. So you'll be able to see country Victoria and you don't need a car. If you're looking to buy a car in Melbourne, the best websites to have a look at are carsales.com.au, gumtree.com.au, and the buy, swap, and sell pages on Facebook for Melbourne. However, just keep in mind, cars can get very expensive in Australia. Your annual insurance is gonna cost you around $500. Your registration is gonna cost you around $800 per year. Services are gonna cost you at least $200 per service, and fuel averages at $1.35 per liter. So you're gonna be looking at spending at least $1,600 to $2,000 per year on a car. Melbourne also have taxi and Uber. Now Ubers generally cost around $30 per 10 kilometers, depending on the surcharge. However, your cheapest option is to go and buy a bicycle because Melbourne is very flat and it's very easy to get around. There are bike paths everywhere. You'll be riding through the suburbs, through parks, along beautiful rivers, and you'll be able to explore the city in a totally different way. So those are our top three things that will contribute to your cost of living in Melbourne. Now, just to summarize, you'll be spending at least 600 to 800 a month on rent, 100 to 200 a month on your groceries, 100 to 200 on general expenses, and at least $40 per month on your mobile phone cost. Now, that means that you'll be looking at an average of $1,000 per month for your cost of living in Melbourne. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and share this with all of your friends. Now, if you have any comments at all, leave them in the comment section below. We will 100% get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe for videos coming out every single week. Welcome to Melbourne Vibe.